Chapter 3 in Adam's Car Tutorials Series. Adam's Car FSAE Suspension Analysis and Template Reading. Follow us on our Instagram page and Facebook pages as we provide useful automobile content there as well. And we are also trying to build an automobile community for like-minded people like us, so go and check it out links are in the description below. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the latest update. What we gonna see here today. Performing different suspension simulations on FSAE model for FSAE geometry we will perform totally different simulation than we saw on Baja geometry. So, analysis that we be get covered are steering, static load, static vehicle characteristics and external files. Animation of results post-processing graphs taking out useful information, how to download Baja and FSAE templates learn to read external template. This is the third video of our tutorial series on Adam's car software. Before any analysis on any component, there is a certain procedure that needs to be followed for the required results. So, in this suspension analysis simulation, we need to follow some pre-processing steps like First starting with adjusting hardpoint, second adjusting wheel alignment, third adjusting steering alignment, fourth putting proper gear ratio, fifth adjusting mass properties, sixth setup of suspension parameters, seventh setting up shock absorbers parameter. We have seen this process already in the previous video, but as we can see here we have steering components available with suspension geometry. And there is also a major difference in suspension setup as compared with the Baja setup which we saw in the previous video. So today we will also see FSAE suspension geometry simulation and post-processing of results. Let's import the FSAE suspension subsystem. Go to file then new after that click on suspension assembly. Import suspension and steering subsystem. We will enter specific name as per our requirements. Then we right click to display the search option, and then we will select the suspension subsystem. And we follow the same step to enter steering subsystem. So, let's get started with hardpoints. As we go to adjust menu then hardpoint, inside we will choose the table option. As we can see in the table there are lots of additional hardpoints that have been mentioned, and also if changed the layout we will see steering hardpoints as well. Quick tip whenever you want to edit hardpoints select display right side as you can enter positive values. Here an additional hardpoint present which are right height, prod inboard and prod outboard, and camera edge, orient. These prod inboard and prod outboard are also known as rocker arm in FSAE suspension geometry. Now there is an option here to change subsystem. So we will change it from suspension to steering to see steering hardpoints. From these hardpoints, we can totally manipulate the steering hardpoints like rack mounting, pinion pivot point, steering wheel center and other points mentioned. For now, I'm keeping it default and click on apply. Inside the same adjust menu there is an adjustable force option. We can use to adjust the camera and toe. But instead of going with this option, I would prefer some other option which I'll show you. Inside the same adjust menu there is a gears option that is also available. Where we can adjust the reduction ratio of your gearbox as per your requirement. And while changing the reduction ratio remember to see the unit radian length of rad millimeter, so put value accordingly. And now for adjusting wheel alignment, there is an option known as parameter variable inside the adjust menu. In this parameter variable option for suspension geometry, we have camera adjust, camera angle, drive shaft offset, toe adjust and toe angle. Remember while adjusting points select display right put all the points, and then hit apply. And then put select display left to put all the points, and then hit apply. Now inside the subsystem option, we also have steering alignment options like you can see max rack displacement, max rack force, max steering angle and max steering torque. Remember this wheel alignment, suspension parameters, hardpoints plays a very important role in your outcome results, and while adjusting points select display right put all the points, and then hit apply. And then put select display left to put all the points, and then hit apply. After this, we will be adjusting the mass properties of the steering and suspension components. So again in adjust menu select spring mass and inside the table, you will see suspension and steering mass of the components changing, as per your actual component mass.
Now adjusting dampers or we can say shock absorbers. So follow the process to make required adjustments. So, to adjust proper damper stiffness, it is necessary to edit the graph as per our requirement. As we can see from the graph there are several points. So while shock absorbers movement we will see that shocks are following these points during compression and extension. So you can totally manipulate these points as per your requirement. Now the last adjustment that is suspension parameters, put out the value which your vehicle has in hit apply. Now simulation that we gonna perform today is steering, static load, static vehicle characteristics and external files. The remaining other simulations like parallel wheel travel, opposite wheel travel, single wheel travel and dynamic tests we have performed in the previous video. So let's get started with steering simulation. Firstly go to simulate menu. Select suspension analysis then click on steering. So for this simulation, I'll add the required value. Steps 500, upper steering limit equals 180 and lower steering limit equals minus 180. And hit apply. Now let us see the animation. Ola. Here we go we are done with steering simulation. Let's hear in German accent our achievement. Ola, here we go we are done with steering simulation. Let's see the post-processing of results in graph format and understand the result outcomes. Firstly go to review then select post-processing window. Left click on layout option and select window divide into two. Do one right click of the first window and then select steering analysis. For the animation option, you have the speed to see analysis properly. Now let's plot some graphs. So right click on the second window so that plotting will be visible to you. Now in simulation, we will select steering, then in filter select user to find and in request, select Firstly test your option, then select Ackerman angle, then select right or left any as you want. Then press on the add curve. Now in the plot, as you can see it is moving from opposite 25 degrees to minus 25 degree in the meantime of 500 seconds. So like this, we have lots of different plots that we can see to understand our suspension geometry. So there's Ackerman Air, Anti-Dive, Anti-Lift, Anti-Squad, Camera, Caster Angles, Ideal Steer, Percent Ackerman, Right Rate, Right Steer, and others as you can see here. Explore these graphs and understand them and also share your experience with us. We will post your experience on our Instagram and Facebook page.